Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Walborn, Theory Genologist at the Rudin Riddle Equine Hospital in Wellington, Florida. Today, I'll be performing an embryo flush procedure. This is a procedure in which we can preserve genetics in mares that cannot carry their own foals to term. This is especially important in our equine athletes. Because they can't take too much time off from their training or show scheduling, this procedure can be fit in with minor disruptions. This procedure can also be performed in mares that have conformational or lameness issues and those that have uterine pathologies, which make carrying a foal to term impossible. These mares are usually bred conventionally via AI or natural cover, and then they are flushed about six and a half to eight days after ovulating. If an embryo is recovered at that time, it is placed into a recipient mare. These recipient mares act like surrogates and carry those foals to term. If a recipient mare is not available at that time, the embryo can either be frozen or vitrified and used at a later date to preserve those genetics forever. So I'm just gonna scan her entire uterus, make sure there's no fluid, nothing abnormal there, make sure everything looks good before flushing her today. We have the uterus right in that area there. No signs of fluid. So we'll go ahead and attach our Y piece to our Bavona catheter and go ahead and run some fluid through it. And we'll make sure our cuff is also working prior to placing the catheter into the mare. Our line is primed. Dr. Scoggins has the embryo dish and our filter. And I'll go ahead and place this catheter through the vagina into the cervix and into the uterus. So while I'm doing this, I'm feeling with my finger at the external os of the cervix making sure that it's nice and tight and I'm going to place my catheter through it and into the uterus. Dr. Scoggins is going to place some fluid and air into my cuff so that it blows up and that so that the catheter will stay in the uterus and it won't come out while we're performing the embryo flush. Fluid is going into the uterus now and we'll hopefully get this whole bag into this mare. She's big so we'll be able to fit that in her uterus. So now we're siphoning the fluid from the uterus through the embryo filter that Dr. Scoggins is holding there. The embryo gets trapped in, in the filter um, and into that little dish there so that we don't lose it as we're siphoning out the fluid. And usually we'll wait until there's no more flow and then we'll go ahead and we can place more fluid into the uterus or go in with our ultrasound machine and scan the uterus to make sure most of the fluid has been siphoned out. So I'm scanning the uterus to make sure that both horns are filled with fluid and also the uterine body, just to make sure that I've distended the entire uterus during this procedure. So you can see all that black areas in the uterus there, that's all fluid that we've placed into the uterus. So we can go ahead and open up our filter and we'll go ahead and siphon all this fluid out and I'll stay in here just to make sure that we get all the fluid siphoned out of the uterus. While I'm in here, I can also manipulate the uterus to push the fluid towards the internal os of the cervix so that it comes out through our Bavona catheter. So we still have fluid there in the body, but as we start moving up into the horns, you can see that there's no, none of that black fluid in the central portion of that uterine horn right there. So we've gotten most of the fluid out, um, but we will go ahead and give her some oxytocin to help contract that uterus so that last bit of fluid can come out as well. So I'll go ahead and deflate my cuff so that I pull out all the air and fluid that we placed into the cuff so that it could stay in the uterus. And then I'll go ahead and remove my catheter. So we'll go ahead and run some fluid through just as high as we can making sure that nothing overflows in case the embryo is up at the tip there. And then we'll siphon it back through our embryo filter. We do this about three to four times with the amount of fluid that we have left. That concludes our embryo flush procedure. I'm going to take this embryo filter into the lab and search for an embryo under the microscope. So we have our embryo there that we recovered from Goody, the mare today. Uh, it looks like a seven day blastocyst and we'll take this and place it into our recipient mare today. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later.